Instrument Contest MCing, Galax, 2013, Harold Mitchell and Dale Morris. If you have attended a Galax Old Fiddlers convention in the last 45 years, then you will know the familiar voice of Galax native Harold Mitchell. Always impeccably dressed and wearing a white cowboy hat, Harold brought generations of contestants to the stage, seamlessly balancing the need to move through the contestants efficiently while providing just the right amount of encouragement. Harold apprenticed Dale Morris, a fine banjo player and member of the Wolf Brothers String Band, who joined the team of Galax MCs doing their best to fill his formidable shoes after Harold's retirement in 2018. Paper Sculpture, Accomack County, 2016. Mary, Mama Girl Onley, and David Rogers. The late pastor Mary Onley, known as Mama Girl, was a self-taught artist who came from generations of farm laborers working in the fields herself at the age of 12. Severe allergies resulted in several hospitalizations, and during one of these, she reported being visited by a spirit who instructed her to create art out of paper and found objects, something she had never done before. She went on to become one of the most celebrated folk artists on the East Coast, creating lyrical newspaper and glue sculptures. In 2016, she taught son David Rogers her unorthodox artistic techniques and how to open his mind to receive his own divine artistic inspirations. Galax Style Dulcimer, Rockingham County, 2019, Phyllis Gaskins and Anna Stockdale. The mountain dulcimer is a fretted string instrument from the Zither family, which first appeared in the 19th century among Scots-Irish communities. Phyllis Gaskins plays the Galax dulcimer, which is lozenge-shaped, has four strings all tuned to the same note, and is played with a turkey or goose quill. The Galax dulcimer is intended to be an equal instrument in old-time string bands, mirroring the fiddle. Phyllis shared her knowledge and traditional methods with Anna Stockdale, and also built Anna her own Galax dulcimer with the help of luthier Tom Scanlon. Quilting, Fairfax County, 2014, Sharon Tyndall and Nancy Chilton. Quilting has been practiced for thousands of years. Originally a craft born out of necessity, quilting has become a thriving art form and an integral part of creating and maintaining social networks and community. Sharon Tyndall specializes in early African-American quilt patterns and in working with fabrics that aren't typically used in quilting, such as Malian mud cloth. She is also a quilt historian and has conducted substantial research in support of the theory that African American quilts contained coded messages integral to the success of the Underground Railroad. Sharon shared her craft and historical knowledge with gifted quilter Nancy Chilton. Mm -hmm. 